Hey YouTube, uh, it's Mike from Flip Flop Fishing here. I'm going to do something a little different today. Uh, a lot of people have been asking about my kayak setup. Um, so I'm just about to convert the kayak over from my lake setup to the river setup. I'm going to go fishing in the river tomorrow. And uh, since I just pulled this out of the lake on Wednesday when I went fishing up at Willow Springs, uh, I figured I'd do a quick walk around and show you what I got going on. So this is a Pelican Catch Power 100. I love this boat. Uh, so anyways, a quick walk around. Uh, I'll start at the front here. Um, under this hatch, my power systems, my batteries. Uh, this is a 100 amp uh, LiPo battery, lithium battery for the trolling motor. I've got a 20 amp battery pack. This powers the fish finder. Uh, I've got a, a circuit breaker over here for the motor and then I have a wireless shunt, uh, smart shunt also so I can check the uh, power levels on the battery with my phone through an app. Also got a six inch hatch up here and that's it. That's pretty much all I carry up here in the hatch. All right sticking with the front I've got an anchor wizard. Uh, the line goes out to the back. I'll show you the actual anchor when we get there. I have my fish finder, a Humminbird Helix 7 4GN. For steering, I installed these foot pedals, and as you can see, they've got the Dyneema cord that goes into this. This is actually a jack for a guitar, <laughs> and there's a, a rubber irrigation tube. Um, that runs from this end to the back end um, where it comes out and connects to the motor. Uh, in fact, I'll just show all that right now. So these pedals, as you can see, move back and forth. Uh, the line runs through here, through the boat, out through this here, and then the Dyneema cord runs up here to the trolling motor and to this bracket, which steers the motor. Uh, otherwise, there's not a whole much left up here in the front. I've got my transducer uh, bracket here. Drop the transducer in the water. I can put a rod holder on in here if I want. I don't usually take a rod holder with me though. Um, I just keep my tools and everything right here. They're all leashed in. My emergency knife and my scale goes right here. Of course, my seat. Seat's adjustable, it slides back and forth, but I typically leave it right there. Um, over on this side, I've got um, the mounting for my for my Mega Live. Um, this is all uh, designed and 3D printed by myself. The bracket here also, I uh, 3D printed part so that I can uh, run this mount down through the scupper hole. And what you can't see here, but underneath is actually the transducer for the fish finder I use for the river. And that just stays on here all the time. It's recessed under there where you can't really, it won't uh, scrape on the bottom or anything like that. Uh, but there's really no re need to take it out when I sw swap fish finders. All I do is remove it from this bracket and uh, put the other one on there. And then re-cable it real quick. Um, back to the... This is the Mega Live mount that I did. Um, it just connects onto the rail here and sits right flush on the boat. Uh, it's pretty sturdy. Um, this is actually in its uh, travel position, in the up position. This is, you know, when I'm cruising to my fishing spot, it's up out of the water. Uh, but when I'm fishing and using it, that just drops out like that. That drops in like that. And there we go. Um, back to the anchor cord. Anchor line just runs straight down through here, out this back carry handle, and then attaches to my drag chain. Um, the four inch hatches I installed myself. Um, they didn't quite fit, as you can see, so I had to trim out the side of the frame here. But now it fits perfect, gives me a a lot of extra extra storage space. I put one over here and one over there. This boat comes with two, uh, four rod holders total, factory installed. 
Um, but there was plenty of room for a third one on each side, so I went ahead and got the factory flush mounted rod holders, uh, drilled the hole, and now I have six rod holders instead of just four. The back of the seat here, this is just all my cables for the Mega Live. This is also another, this is a 10 amp Yak Attack battery pack that fits right in there, right, real nice to power the Mega Live transducer. Trolling motor is a Minn Kota Endura 30 pound thrust. I replaced the plug. Um, the plug used to go here in the side. I didn't like it sticking out and it was kind of flimsy. So even though this thing was, uh, in my opinion, overpriced, I got this plug from Minn Kota uh, and it's right in the center of the boat. It uh, doesn't stick out where it can easily get broken. This thing is sturdy as anything. It's not going anywhere. Uh, this is just a, another camera mount, a uh, spot for a camera mount. I put the rail in here and I have a pole that goes up and I mount a GoPro to it. This is remote controlled. I've got the remote control here. I just attach this to my uh, life jacket when I'm in the boat. Just turn it on and get over here where you can see the prop. And if I hit it, that prop goes. This also has cruise control. I hit this button here and then if I just bump the joystick, you can see that thing will start, start, start turning at slowest speed. If I bump it again, it'll go a little faster, again, again, so on. And if I want to slow it down, I can do the same thing, just bump, bump, bump. And then of course if I turn off the cruise control, I can just control it with the joystick, forward and backward. This, along with the foot pedal steering, was a game changer. If you can wing it on your kayak, I definitely highly recommend those two items. Foot pedal steering and a remote controlled trolling motor. Uh, total game changer, total game changer. That's about it for the lake. I'm, I'm gonna tear it all down now and rig it up for the river. All right, we're back. I uh, am now swapped over to the river setup. I'm gonna start up front again. Um, under the hatch, uh, it looks messy, but it's really not. I've stowed um, the pedal steering brackets because I won't be needing those. Uh, I've got the 20 amp battery in here still. I've taken out the big 100 amp battery. The 20 amp powers my Garmin Striker 4 fish finder. Uh, the reason I swap out fish finders is because I don't like having the transducer arm hanging over the side in the river. It gets caught up when there's grass and stuff like that. And um, the less I have hanging over the boat, the better. I've moved the uh, anchor wizard. I haven't moved it. It's in the same spot, but I've turned it around. And now the line runs through the front and through the front carry handle. And now it, uh, my drag anchor has moved up to the front of the boat. I'll explain why in a second. Uh, nothing's really changed up here in the middle. Um, I put in the camera pole for this version. And then uh, my favorite part of this whole thing is this power pole by Micro Anchor. I just got this. I've used it a few times now. It works absolutely fantastic. Um, this is the battery pack for it here. If you're not familiar with this uh, piece of equipment, um, this is the motor and all the controls within. Um, it mounts to this bracket, which again mounts to this um, trolling motor mount. Um, this is the pole. Uh, it's eight feet long. 
which is usually plenty for the river I fish in but it mounts right in there and I've got this remote control that goes around in my neck and if I hit down twice you can see that the pole plants into whatever bottom I'm fishing over uh, two more clicks and that power pole comes up really slick by far my favorite addition I've gotten in a while uh, I didn't show these before but uh, you can see them that is my kayak cart uh, it breaks down into several pieces so when I go out on the river um, because I have to carry it pretty far down to the bank um, I can just take that thing apart I store the wheels uh, in the hatch and then the uh, the rest of the frame just goes in the back here underneath my tackle bag uh, those are my boat setups for the lake and the river um, I hope you found this useful those who've been asking questions about my setup if you have any questions let me know I'd be happy to answer them Stay out of those reeds. So this worm uh, was given to me the other day by the guy who uh, repairs my who repairs my air conditioning uh, he knew I was out fishing that day when he was over fixing our unit and uh, texted me when he was done and told me he left me these worms I believe they're made by a friend of his um, this is the first time I've used them I just put them on a shaky head and this was within 10-15 minutes tying it on I caught this fish fishing's been kind of slow today too so it worked good the beauty fish Get him back in the water. Oh man, he's good. Alright. That was fun.